Retail service workers of Reddit. What's the best instant karma you've seen happen to a rude customer? I work at an auto parts store. This one guy stole some $60 headlights and literally sprinted out the door. We went to look outside to try and get his license plate. Just in time to see him speed off, hit a curb, and blow out his tire. Called the cops and the dumb boss got arrested and had to have his car towed. I was really hoping you were going to look out the window and see him calmly changing them in the parking lot. Working the window at McDonald's late night. Guy orders whatever and pulls up to the window. I'm cooking and handling the window. So I wasn't there when the customer pulled up. When I walked up to the window, I didn't see the sucker with trash in his lap. I open the window to take his card cash and he throws a bag of trash at me. I take a step back, bothered that I just got trash thrown at me, and I watch his car speed off. I'm peed, but there's nothing I can do. A couple seconds later I hear a small bang of metal on metal. I walk to the lobby and look out the windows. The douchebag slammed into a police cruiser who was about to loop around and use the drive through himself. Of course I also went to tell the officer what just happened inside. Standing at the counter of the pizza place I work at, lady storms in and slams a pizza down on the counter. This isn't the freaking pizza I ordered. What the heck are you going to do about she asked. I look at the pizza then at my buddy Nick and turn back to her and say, nothing. She then goes on a long rant telling how we are going to be fired. How stupid and incompetent we were. She actually told me I must be retarded. Then asked why the heck we weren't going to do anything. I said because that pizza came from the pizza shop across the street. I think she actually managed to shrink in size and slink out looking so pathetic and beating I almost felt bad for laughing till tears dripped down my face as she slunk off. I worked for an online banking help desk and this 18 years old lad phoned up saying he had seen a transaction for £7 to all pay net and because he didn't recognize it. He decided the bank were robbing him of £7 and that I was in on it and I was a thieving little prick. Then he gets his dad on the phone who stuck up for his crap of a son. Saying I was a pathetic scumbag for stealing £7 off an 18 year old boy. Even though it was a debit card transaction and I simply worked in the department which helped people use online banking. But anyway, I phoned our debit card services to see if they could give any more information. And boy could they. I then had the pleasure of relaying back to this little crap's equally crappy father the following. Hi sir. Thanks for holding. I've checked with our debit card services team and I now understand why your son would not have recognized the pay or pay net. That's a deliberately vague term used for discretion when the customer has subscribed to online pornography. That's what it was for. Your son has been paying for online pornography. Would you like to pop him back on the phone so I can tell him it's a payment for his pornography? Or will you pass on the information? The father just muttered that the issue did not require any further investigation. Thanked me for looking into it and hung up. Guy comes in and is being a complete butthole. Not wanting to show it to buy beer even though he looked 20 at the oldest. Constantly yelling and swearing. He also had parked in the handicap spot despite not having handicap tags or plates on his car. One of my regular customers, who is a sheriff's deputy, was also in the store. Saw how the guy was acting. Saw where he was parked. Went out. Got his ticket book. And wrote the guy a ticket. Guy realized he wasn't getting his beer. Went outside. To find he was getting ticketed. I could not stop laughing. Worked at a telecom in Canada. I am no longer an employee thank god. Lady comes in with a broken iPhone is demanding to get a new one for free. If you don't know, in Canada the iPhone 6s is going for about $400 upfront on a 2 year contract at a minimum $80 plan. She had a good plan, but wanted it for free. She called up our loyalty team in store and spent the next 2 hours screaming at them. Finally, they agree to a deal. And she is getting it for zero. She looks at me and goes I do not want a case. And Apple Care is a scam. We work on commission. So this essentially meant I was getting nothing and ruining my numbers. She keeps telling me to hurry up through the setup and I was trying to get them out of the store with everything transferred over and set up. She grabs the phone and starts marching off saying I was a terrible employee. She gets 3 steps out of the store and drops the phone. Shattered screen. And white screen of death. She ran back in asking what I can do. I shrug and went sorry, but Apple Care sure would have helped eh? Warehouse worker here. Customers have to show a card to shop. 
and even though we're not technically a grocery store, we don't allow pets. One dude tried to power walk past the employee at the entrance door holding a big pit bull puppy on a leash. We stopped him and told him he couldn't bring his dog inside and he lost IT. He's our best customer and he's here 5 times a week and he owns stock. Blah. Whatever. He demanded to know why we don't allow dogs. We explained how it's a food safety issue, especially with an untrained puppy. At this point our manager came over and just waved him through. BC no backbone customers always right. Well not even 5 minutes later this dog squats in the middle of the main aisle and pees, followed by poop. The man turned so red and dragged the dog towards the exit, abandoning his groceries. We stopped him and asked him nicely to please clean up after his pup. That's the reason we don't allow them, sir. Worked at Best Buy 10 or so years ago. This happened on Black Friday. Most of the customers were in bad mood since they'd been waiting hours to come in and stand in more lines. But this one lady was a raging bee. After yelling at everyone in my department about how she needed the laptop that was on sale despite it being sold out. She proceeds to tell us she'll have the store closed down because she works with the city and knows the fire marshal and we have too many people in the store. So she calls him. We tell her to leave. And nothing happens to the store. However we called them as well to report what she'd said. And she got fired from her job for abuse of power. I worked at a restaurant that was very popular for brunch and Mother's Day was probably our busiest day of the year. I had a customer call the evening before and asked for a table for 6 and he was incredibly rude when I informed him that this would simply be an impossibility. He kept getting more and more worked up, asking me to speak to my manager. At first I didn't want to pass the phone over. My manager wasn't the nicest guy and we were in the middle of a busy dinner shift. But my manager came up behind me and demanded to know why I had been on the phone for so long. I was like frick it, this customer isn't going to listen to me anyways and gave the phone to Mac. Mac asked how he could help, listened for about 15 seconds before telling this dude something like, so you're tying up my hostess in the middle of dinner even though she's already told you nicely that we can't fit you and your goddamn family in the night before our busiest day of the year frick you buddy and hung up the phone. I'm not sure if being a public defender counts as a retail or service worker, but considering that I provide criminal defense to indigent clients facing deprivation of their rights and freedom, I'll consider it service nonetheless. I was representing a scumbag client who was a massive M head who got high and beat the heck out of her 8 year old daughter with a belt after she accidentally broke mommy's M pipe. She was charged with child cruelty and possession of M, and, given her criminal record, the DA's plea offer was 3 years of prison. Needless to say, my client didn't want to go to prison for giving that C what she deserved and started freaking out at me when I told her that's the best offer I was going to get from the DA, and it was either accept that offer or go to trial. I further pointed out the mountain of evidence against her, primarily, the photographs of her daughter's injuries, the bloody belt that was recovered from her bedroom, the broken M pipe WM residue in it, and the fact that her daughter was going to testify against her at trial. After she was done cursing me out, calling me a public pretender, and every other derogatory name she could think of she fired me and somehow managed to hire a private attorney for the low price of $8,000. I still don't know how she managed to come up with that, but I have plenty of reliable guesses. The private attorney guaranteed her that he could win her case at trial, and that's exactly what she chose to do. Long story short, the private attorney clearly never even read this woman's file before trial. The trial lasted roughly 3 hours, the jury was literally out for only 5 minutes, and the judge sentenced her to 10 years of prison. It was a good day. More than a few decades ago I worked at Denny's. I had two male customers that decided to dine on Dash. Got their license plate's number and reported it to the cops and jokingly mentioned that they didn't even tip. Later that night they got pulled over for DUI. Cops recognized license plate number from the report. Brought them both back to the restaurant and forced them to pay the bill. After he was done paying, the cop just stood there and looked at them and said well, the guy sheepishly handed me my tip. I used to return customer credit cards by setting them on the square podium used to swipe them so they ended up right by them when I swung the screen around from them to sign and such. One lunch rush, takeout restaurant one lady decided this was an offense of the highest order and yelled at me for not placing it directly in her hand. 
I stupidly engaged her and tried to explain that I did that for everybody which got me a continued lecture about how she is the customer and good service is doing what she wants and so on. There were about half dozen people eating at our tables and 5 people in the line behind her so she was straight hamming it up, making sure everyone saw her putting me in my place. Unfortunately for her, the dramatic performance proved to be a bit too distracting and she stormed out without her infant. This was of course noticed by pretty much everyone in the building since she had just made herself the center of attention. One of the customers even had to run after her and stop her from driving away. For the record there is no real subtle way to pick up a full size child carrier. Lady lays into me for the amount of the bill. Called me every bad word in the English language. Says we overbilled her. She requested I go through her order. Come to find out we underbilled her by a $1000 due to a misplaced zero. The silence on the other line was so beautiful. Worked at a gas station some odd years ago in the week before it had been snowing a lot so the gas tankers got delayed due to safety reasons. A customer came in a pretty new Mercedes Benz, something like SLS 400 or something and wanted the premium gas. I explained to him that the takers are delayed and we currently don't have any premium gasoline and that he could try the next station down the block. He started swearing at me personally like I has control over the gas delivery. He sped off tires screeching only to have his rear tire hit the curb. His rim got fricked up really bad and couldn't drive it. I laughed at him. It wasn't the customer, it was the manager. She was awful, she was rude, intentionally picked out favorites and gave them presents in front of everyone even when they didn't like her and tried to avoid it, messed up schedules on purpose for people she didn't like, etc etc. Worst manager ever. So there was a huge storm coming in, and people were really worried about it, like the news telling people to stay home, other businesses closing, etc. So it was up to her to either keep our store open or close it, of course, she kept it open. Because schools closed only half our scheduled employees showed up, the rest called in, and she called her favorites and told them they didn't have to come in. Well as the like 5 of us who showed up were standing there, watching out the front windows, there were zero customers. She starts yelling at us, threatening to write us all up etc, and we are like, no one is here, all the work is done. We are watching the wind bend trees over and worried about if we are safe we'll be able to get home. Right about this time we hear a super loud crashing noise. Kachunk. 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 Wham. As the industrial air conditioner on top of the building got blown off. Like it rolled along the roof. Then went flying into the parking lot. Right onto her car. It was so perfect it was surreal. Dead center. Smashed her car flat. Like if she had been in it, she would have died. And it only happened because she parked right up by the building. Where we had specifically been told not to park. All our cars were out in the farthest corner of the lot. We later found out it her car wasn't paid off. It was some stupidly expensive BMW or something. And her insurance didn't cover the damage because it was an act of God. As a teenager I was working part time at a convenience store. I was being trained by the late night cashier. This dude comes in and grabs a bunch of cans of vegetables and such, and comes to the counter and stacks the cans in a very specific way, like a weird kind of pyramid on the counter. As the experienced cashier, my trainer, takes each can off the pyramid and rings it up, she reaches the end of the stack and we realize that the weirdo has his dong out and has it laying on the counter behind the cans. Without saying a word, the trainer grabs one of the big heavy metal cans of beans and slams it down as hard as she can on the guy's dong. He screamed an incredible scream of searing pain, grabbed his dong, and ran out of the store. She to me, calmly, you get all kinds on the late shift. Way back when I used to be a retail slave I worked at an electronics retailer. Still in business, we had some guys going around trying to lift DVDs. They were cutting the barcodes off to remove the sensors so they wouldn't go off on their way out. LP notices and starts sending over floor reps to see how they are doing, if they need help, etc. Finally LP goes over and just hands them a hand basket. BC they had nothing in their hands it was showing them we knew. So they start wandering around ditching the DVDs as they go and as soon as they drop one an employee comes up and grabs it. So they start freaking out. 
They dump the rest and just book it towards the door full speed. No one chased BC they ditched all the merchandise. As they exit one of the dudes turns around and starts flipping everyone off yelling frick. Store name. As he's doing this he steps off the curb into the front driveway in the parking lot and promptly gets hit by a car. It was in the lot so it was only hard enough to knock him over but he had to scamble to hit feet and keep running. Let me preface my story by saying I work near Baltimore. Yeah, so, I manage a plus size women's clothing store. We actually get a surprising amount of, let's call them non-traditional customers. Guys who need a dress for a charity show, cross dressers, gender fluid people, transgender women, and drag queens aren't unheard of. So a drag queen comes into the store to pick up some shoes they ordered online. They must have been either coming from or going to a show because they were still in full makeup. I get their name and during our conversation another customer walks in. I call out a greeting and say something like, I'll be right with you. I go to the back room, and it takes a minute to go through all the web orders. I find the one I need and am on my way back to the counter, when the new customer throws her arm out to stop me from passing. She then says, I am a new customer and I've been here for 20 minutes and no one has spoken to me. A. I greeted her when she came in and... B. She had only been in the store for 5 minutes at that point. I resigned myself to groveling, but before I could say anything the drag queen stomps over, glares at the customer, and says, B. She said hello to you, complete with sassy finger snaps. The queen then made a big show of thanking me for getting her package, and gave me a big sparkly kiss on the cheek before she left. The other customer sheepishly paid for her spanks and didn't make eye contact when I told her to have a good day. I work at hotel's front desk. One day we had an Armenian guest who was claiming his the room was not up to his standards and decided to make a big deal about it the next morning. He was so rude to the point of almost making a co-worker cry of desperation because she refused to compensate the night as his arguments seemed really fake and invalid. Once he saw he was not going to get nothing back he threw his receipt on the floor and power walked his way out into a very clean glass door that was recently cleaned. His sunglasses broke causing him a small cut on the upper part of his nose. My co-worker and I couldn't stop laughing the second he walked out even more mad. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.